This final episode covers days 13 to 17 of our tour as we leave the hotel in Chavez to travel north to an overnight stop in Ponferrada. We then rode further northward and into the Picos Mountains for our last three nights at the Parador Fuente Day near Potes. So here we are on day 13 I think we are and it's a bloody horrible wet morning and likely to be this way for most of the day so we've taken a more direct route than the one I had intended we're about 50 or 60 kilometers up the road but that was after we had to um, push start Mr Dynamo again battery completely flat wouldn't even bump stars on the cobbles so we had to borrow a starter pack off Colin Saunders which eventually got it going but I think we'll have to take him to a the garage we had a ring around via the reception area and um, we couldn't find anybody to help us in Chavez so I'm told come up and go I'll have a break. Have a coffee, don't you think? Yeah. Keep warm. So, um, Chris in the group says he knows there's a big, uh, well, there's a there's a motorcycle dealership in Ponferrada where we're heading to tonight. So, I think the idea is that we're getting it. We're going a directish, two and a half hour route up to that. 1993. I've already stopped really because <coughs> Mr Dynamo needs to fill up the Ducati. So it's just going to be a, a direct route. I'm going to keep filming to a very minimum today I think unless it um, warms up or something. We're all soaked in cold already. Grab a quick coffee here. And catch up with you later. Cheers then. So a quick update because uh, today has been a very rainy and we just came directly to the hotel in Ponferrada and uh, this is the room that we have. Uh, I haven't done much filming, there's, there's a small clip of uh, us on the road but it was chucking it down all the way here so we just decided two and a half hour ride was the better thing to do. Anyway, I don't think this hotel is quite as nice as some of the others I've chosen. However, it does have underground secure parking for the bikes. That's always a plus point, which we haven't had before. Um, so let me give you a walk around. <coughs> so entrance here, um, and there's a, let's turn the lights on. I mean, the bathroom is, it's, um, it's okay. It's functional. It's a little old fashioned. The bedding is definitely old fashioned. Um, and the room is quite dark, but it does have a, um, what's the right word I was looking for? 
And then we've got some cupboarding here. Probably can't see that. But anyway, it's a hanging space there. Dark timber. Um, it's got a sort of medieval feel to the building. It's a sort of theme really at the hotel. Not a great uh, view out of the window. In fact, no view at all. So um, I think this is probably going to be my least favorite hotel or the poorest um, star rating we'll give this one. But hey, let's see what the food's like. They may redeem themselves with the food tonight. The lady on, uh, on reception has been really helpful and uh, we've sorted out a new battery for the Ducati. So Mr. Dynamo should have a new battery in the morning, but we've got to ride to Lyon, which is fortunately uh, not that far off our route tomorrow to pick that up. So see how tomorrow goes. Can't be as bad as today. We're all soaked, miserable. We've had a beer because we were waiting to get in the room. But anyway, there we go, could be worse. Good morning, it's day 14. We've had more fun pushing the Ducati, but the Ducati has been pushed for the very last time this morning. try bumpy because that's worked before but right could do another update in a while Tremor Show you this little bit. This one, I'm still on the same road, but uh, a bit higher up. And as you can see, it's getting interesting now. If you can't see clearly <laughs> which way the road goes, it's quite a lot of marks in this road and holes and things right where you don't want them. Look at my screen. You see how wiggly the bloody road is, right? Anyway, you get the idea. It's all good fun. <laughs>
I thought it was. That's why I pulled over here. You just go for a play. Yeah. Just been told we're waiting for Wayne. We've just been told he's had a crash down the road or well, up the road. So we're going to go and find out what's going on. Oops. Thank you. Yeah, I. Uh, I thought you said it's fun. I turned that water tower thing, whatever it is. Yeah. I turned round there, and then I saw you guys, and I thought, well, I'll. I turn around and see it, and I, I picked a, a likely place which wasn't really, and um, I just mis uh, read the camber, and I I'd got off, and uh, I'd managed to get off and steer it forward, but not enough. Um, and then when I got on, that was it. I went over. Uh, and that that went on to a a bit of barrier. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I'm fine. I don't think there's anything on me that's marked. So it wasn't. A, it wasn't at speed. It, it, I was stationary. Oh, right. right. Yeah, I was stationary. Um, well, it's all just plastic. It, 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 it is. Yeah, as long as you're right, that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's just a cut. That's a cut. Well, it's a bit more than a couple. Yeah. You, uh, can, you can get replacement lid. Yeah. Good you, you get the lid. Yeah. 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 It hasn't fractured anything. Yeah. Well, at least he's okay, so it's just a bit of scrapage. Dropped it turning around rather than at speed. Catch up with you later. So we just arrived at uh, the, Ho the Parador Fuente Day and I'll give you a quick tour of the room because we're here for three nights. This parking all below here is just full up with bikes at the moment. So anyway, this is our room, 222. And we've got hanging space, all the usual. There, twin bedded room, again TV, blah blah blah. What we've got out here. Let's see if I can open this because there'll be. You'll probably get a view. Oh, I've got a little patio area here. And that is the view behind up to the mountain. 
So there's a tele cabin that goes up to the top of there, and uh, it's much fun. I'll probably do that tomorrow if it's raining. And then out back here towards the entrance, we've got the bathroom, very modern bathroom, separate loo, blah blah blah, twin basins, and bath and shower. As you can see, all very nice. Right, okay. that was a very wet ride. My helmet cam packed up. My helmet cam, oh, it's Wayne. My helmet cam packed up during the, so I'll have to review and see how much uh, front facing camera there is. Of course, quite a few bits with this camera looking back. Again, we'll have to see how much came out because the rain affected the screens on this and all sorts of things. So, not great for filming. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'll catch up with you later. And we've just arrived at the Parador de Fuente, which you can see in the background here. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of it, because I think we've saved the best to last. I've been here twice before, um, but um, I don't remember it very well, to be honest. But uh, it's really nice inside, and hopefully they're gonna look after us well for the next uh, three nights. It's got a couple of different wings to it. So there's loads of accommodation. Over there, beneath that block, you can see a load of bays and that's where all of the uh, bikes have parked themselves up. And then you've got the cabin taking people up to the top of the mountain directly behind the hotel. How fantastic is that? I can't remember how much it is. It was about five pounds last time, I think something like that. But it's well worth the trip up there. Uh, the telecabin office is uh, round over there. But what a stunning position here. Right at the top of the peak, right in the centre of the Picos, really. This is a dead end road, so it's about 15 kilometres in total length, all the way, all the way up to the hotel here. And uh, even the, the road is well surfaced up here. You can have a bit of fun on that as well. So, let me just show you over this way. We're, uh, we're in this block here. I think they've refurbished everything since we came here last. So it's looking really nice. Show you a bit inside. So this is the reception area here. Oh, Mr. Morris. Barting area through here, and um, you can move through to the restaurant area in here, which I guess will probably be in here tonight. I guess. Oh, there's another one through there, so maybe we're through there. Let's have a look. Can't remember this. Here we go. My GoPro footage for day 15 seems to have been lost unfortunately, however we travelled up the mountain behind the Parador via the telecabin for some photos of the views. We then retired to the cheaper Hotel Rebecco opposite our Parador for lunchtime beers and food.
Good morning, it's day 16, Friday the 16th of September and we're just going out for a loop ride from the Parador de Fuente nip down to Potes and get some fuel before we get going on our little loop which is, uh, or is it as actually the Covila Reservoir? I can't remember now, I'll put it up on screen whichever one it is we're doing because it was the one I was going to do yesterday, but the weather was so rubbish, we uh, decided to go up in the uh, telecabin to the top of the mountain. But it's trying to come through with a bit of sunshine, so let's hope it's okay. This is our last day on our trip before tomorrow we ride back to the ferry terminal first thing in the morning. So we won't be able to do another route tomorrow, it'll be a, a motorway jaunt to get on board for uh, sort of lunchtime. So we're just coming to Budez. Just need to find somewhere to fuel up first, I think. This is very popular as a biking uh, stopover point. Loads of bars, restaurants, etc. here. Loads of speed humps. So we just filled up and we've just leaving Potes on the CA184. It's not too bad, it's just about 2021 C this morning. We've been up the CA184, great little road. Very little traffic at this time of the morning. We're just doing a bit of uh, photographic work off the back of the pannier for some close-ups. Some tighties here, aren't they? No, it's going to be all misty up the top here. Swap over again, because uh, better sp better speed, I think. Uh, oh shit, it's going to rain. You obviously thought I'd say go for it. I've got to put a jacket on in a minute, I think. But you've got your rain gear on. No, I haven't. I'll have to stop up here somewhere otherwise I'm going to get soaked. And another small gap. Can you put a bit more Armco there please? <laughs> oh well, I suppose if I get soaked I can always dry it out in the wardrobe. Not what I'd planned to do. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not showing me at my best riding this. I think I'll cut this bit out. And we're still heading up the uh, 184. Met a cow, met a beagle dog, lots of uh, poo on the road. But only one car I think we've met so far. One vehicle. Michael has uh, buggered off in front of us somewhere. Sunshine, come on! I need to dry out now. Just throw through a shower in my mesh jacket. Not a good idea. We 
be nearing the peak. We're at 984 metres here. Oh, this is not going to look good on film. Lots of mistage, yeah. Oh, bugger, it's going to ruin my photography idea. All the best laid plans, eh? Dog on the road. So, near the top, we took a really sharp hairpin left at a junction onto this road which is the CA281 which I hope is going to lead me to the uh, gorge sort of photo location that I've seen other people use and I'd like to do the same let's see where we are on the route I can't oh hold on Photoshop stop for bins. Oh, 12 kilometres. Can you hear me? Yeah, 12 kilometres to the photo stop for bins. It's flipped up on my screen. That's how that thing does work. You can put a little note on your waypoint and then it will actually come up on the, the XT Garmin. Shite on the road. Oh, that's slippy. Yep, more of it. Let's take it easy down here, shall we? Where there's wet shites, there's probably a wet cow. Right, I'll catch up with you. It's a bit misty up here. We'll catch up in a minute, I think. This is La Lu Laguna, viewers. La Laguna. CA281 still. It's not looking great for photography with a long, long lens, but we'll give it a go. It's looking very atmospheric with the clouds whisking their way across the mountain tops here. We've got another three kilometres to our photo stop point, viewpoint. It's very, uh, very rural here. Go for it. Sorry, this green's a bit misty on here because of the <laughs> dampness getting into it. I'm going to have to replace it again. Right, we're going to go down, and uh, if the cloud breaks in the right way, then we may be able to get some nice shots of us. But it's not very sunny, so it's pretty, pretty horrendous at the moment. Bit of tunnelage going down here. Yeah, there is a tunnel. But it's a hairpin the other side before we reveal ourselves again. Can you see it? Can you hear me from there? Can you hear me from here? Do you want me to slow down or stop or...? It's quite dramatic down here. Guessing I'm going to come back into view around here somewhere. Just go between some rocks and then I think it opens out again. Oh, 
Right, we'll find somewhere to turn around. This could be interesting. If you can hear me, you're going to have to wait a while. Stunning bit of uh, gorgery. Whoa! Ah, oh, more photographs down here. Loads of frames. It's a long way round. It's very dramatic down there. It's worth you having a coming down for a look, I think. And then there's a bit like that um, balcony road that I said, where you need to stand a long way off and take a long shot. There's there's a bend there where it, it bends around to the right, and you could take a really long shot of someone. But I don't know if it's worth coming going. Well, you ought to come down and have a look at it, shouldn't you, really? Oh, there's a town down there, so maybe if we go down to the next town, there might be a coffee stop there. Was it too misty like this all the time? No, it's just. Oh, well, these are better probably than the long shots, aren't they? There you are. Yeah, yeah, no, not too bad. Welcome back viewers, uh, we're further down the CA281 Just done a bit of photography up there even though the weather is rubbish We'll see how those come out and if they're any good I'll stick one or two into the vid I think we're just going to see how this goes and see if it improves the weather that is As we come down a bit because we're down about 400 metres now from the reservoir yeah, it's looking pretty rubbish today. We'll go and have a coffee and uh, discuss what to do next, I think. The village of La Lastra. There's the sign. What a disappointment. Our last riding day, and I, it was meant to be bright sunshine all day. That was the pre-forecast. The roads aren't pretty grippy actually, aren't they? They're not, I mean, it's not, the roads aren't soaking. Mm. Cut the corner, mate. Yeah, just cut it. Don't worry about bikers or anybody else coming around. You know, you just cut it. Right, viewers, catch up with you in a minute.
so we've just turned off that last road mentioned um, turned left onto the CA855 this will be nice in the dry So I've just come out on a left turn onto the N621 uh, signposted to Potes. I got numbness in my hand, I just didn't want to ride at that speed. So just following this uh, N621 back to Potes and our hotel. This is quite a nice little gorge through here. Can't get past this wagon but... Welcome back, still on the same road. Just thought I'd show you a bit more of this. 621. Got a bit of a numb hand and arm. So I dropped back because um, I can't maintain that speed and brake. Just can't really feel the brake lever at the moment, so I'm just taking it easy. Let them ride on. Wiggly, isn't it? 25 kilometers back to the hotel. That's the Hotel Infantado on the left there that I'm passing. This is very popular with bikers. Apparently the food is not terribly great, but um, it's a uh, good value, shall we say. Are you taking that from what other people said? I haven't had any personal experience as we decided not to book there. We booked up at the Parador instead. I'm sure they're lovely people and they look after all the bikers because a lot of people use it, so it can't be too bad, I'm guessing. So we just uh, topped up for the morning's run to Bilbao no faffing around there but I've still got 20 so it's 24 kilometers from the Parador down to this fuel station which I think is the nearest fuel station so bear that in mind oh that's a Jada we're going into Potes now actually so that's uh, 
the scenario there. But you've seen this bit from the other direction, so I'll catch up with you uh, in the morning, I expect, or later tonight. It's our last night in the hotel, so I expect um, people will probably be careful with the amount they drink. So tonight's uh, farewells for most of us. Uh, quite a few are leaving the hotel in another direction tomorrow. The majority going back on the ferry, so we'll probably all be riding not as a convoy necessarily, but uh, we'll all be heading back at about the same sort of time because we need to get there no later than latest check-in is 1 p.m. for a 2 p.m. sailing, I believe. And then one night on the ferry back to Portsmouth and you won't want to see any more than that because you'll be bored to death by then. You're on the camera. <laughs> Cheers, Neil. Have a good trip home, won't you? Yeah. See you yeah. Again. Okay. See you later, mate. Yeah. So uh, good to meet you, Michael. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 And, and, and thank you for all the push. Oh, that's all right. Somber morning as we uh, prepare to leave for uh, the ferry port at uh, Bilbao. Great trip. Been great to see everybody, meet new people, ride some great roads. We've had some uh, brilliant weather and we've had some poor weather. I guess that makes up the trip, doesn't it? I'm just a little bit filming on our way. It's a bit chilly at 15 degrees this morning. Probably still warmer than uh, the UK. Cheers, Ralph. Yeah, so great trip to the uh, Pyrenees, Portugal, and Picos. Loved it. Spain is so good. Good food, usually good weather, good accommodation, fantastic roads, loads of bends, very little traffic. What's not to like, as they say? No, seriously, I could ride here every year. That would be fine with for me. Hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, video. And uh, there should be all the descriptions of hotels, etc., within the vid, if not within the uh, description below the video on the YouTube page. If you like this sort of thing, the touring videos is probably what I focus on, although I do a few local videos around the Northamptonshire area or where I live. Uh, so I hope you consider following me on Instagram, Facebook and uh, especially subscribing to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to uh, give the video a big thumbs up. It really helps me in these YouTube algorithms. And uh, make sure you check the uh, box for all notifications. And that way you'll get a little notification from YouTube when something fresh is there for you to uh, view. Well, it sometimes works. It doesn't always work. Yep, here's a little bit of sweepage viewers for the end of the film and I think it's going to probably be roll the credits.